Hello and welcome to the next part of the unboxing for the Dual Decks Anthology from Magic the Gathering. So we've now moved on to our third pair of Dual Decks and like I said we're going through in, in order that they were originally released and this is the one that I'm most excited about un unboxing because this is probably when they announced that the fact this was coming out I got most excited about that, that this would be available um, after seeing how much this would cost if I attempted to try and buy the um, original version of this um, at this time. So this is the Divine versus Demonic Jewel Deck. So we'll have a look at this one. So the same stuff as before. So we've got our spaces in here and our decks. front we have the lead card so this is a chroma versus lord of the pit okay so let's start off with a chroma as with all the others the lead card is is a foil It's a nice foily a chroma there. So a chroma, five and three white for a six-six mm. legendary creature angel. Has flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black and from red. Twilight Shepherd, three and three white for five-five angel. Flying in Vigilance, when Twilight Shepherd enters the battlefield, return to your hand all cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Also has Persist on it. So with Persist, when this particular creature dies, if it has no minus one, minus one counters on it, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a minus one, minus one counter on it. Luminous Angel, four and three white, 4-4 four, four Angel, flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Raya Dawnbringer, 6 and 3 white. It's another legendary creature Angel. 4-6 has flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ikatian Priest, 1-white one, one for 1-1 one, one creature human cleric. Has one colourless, two white, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And there are two of those. Angelic Page, one and a white, angel spirit. It's one, one, has flying, has tap, target attacking or blocking creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. And there are two of those. Charging Paladin, two and a white, two, two, human knight. Whenever Charging Paladin attacks, get it gets plus zero plus three until end of turn and there are two of those venerable monk two and a white two two when venerable monk enters the battlefield you gain two life and there are two of those angelic protector three and a white two two it's an angel has flying whenever angelic protector becomes a target of spell or ability angelic protector gets plus zero plus three until end of turn Sierra Advocate, three and a white, two, two, with flying. Tap, target, attacking or blocking creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. And there are two of those. Sustainer of the Realm, two and two white, two, three, angel, has flying. Whenever Sustainer of the Realm blocks, it gets plus zero, plus two until end of turn. And there are two of those. Angel of Mercy, four and a white, three, three, angel, flying. When Angel of Mercy enters the battlefield, you gain three life. And there are a couple of those in the deck. Sierra Angel, not surprisingly, is in here. Three and two white, four, four, Flying Vigilance Angel. Healing Salve, so we're moving on to the non-creature spells now. Uh, single white, we get to choose one. It's an instant. Uh, you can target 
a target player gets three life or prevent the next three damage that would be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Angel Song. One and a white instant, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn, also has cycling for two. So remember, uh, for two with this, you can discard this card, draw a card. Otherworldly Journey, uh, one colorless and a white. Instant Arcane, exile target creature. At the beginning of the next end step, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Two of those. Pacifism with alternate art on here. One and a white enchantment aura. Enchant creature, enchanted creature can't attack or block. Serious boon, two and a white enchantment aura. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one plus two as long as it's white, otherwise it gets minus two minus one. Angelic benediction. Three and a white enchantment with exalted, so whenever a creature you control attacks alone, that creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you may tap target creature. Face fetters, another enchantment aura. It's three and a white enchants are permanent. When face fetters enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Enchanted permanent activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. If enchanted permanent is a creature, it can't attack or block. So there's two of those. Sira's Embrace. Two and two white. Enchant Menorah, enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two and has flying and vigilance. Righteous Cause, three and two white. Another enchantment. Whenever a creature attacks, you gain one life. Angel's Feather, two colourless artefact. Whenever a player casts a white spell, you may gain one life. So we've got a little bit of life gain going here. Marble Diamond, two colourless marble diamond and it's about to feel tapped. You can tap it for white mana. And there are two of those. So we're now moving on to the non-basic lands. Secluded Steep or Step. Um, and this taps, enters the battlefield tapped, um, and you tap it to add one white to your mana pool, and it cycles for white. So for a white you can discard the card and draw a card. And there are two of those. And then we move on to all our planes, our basic land. You can again see the artwork here. Interesting choice of artwork. Um, Now actually, it's interesting that they're all very similar. On here. That just, again, if anybody knows what set this is, I'd be very interested. And I love how it's all like the same, um, you know, like color choices in the artwork for this particular deck. Okay, so that's that one. So let's move on to the demonic one. Let's see what demonic goodies we have in here. Okay, so here's our lead card, our foil. So this is Lord of the Pit. Very shiny. Four and three black, uh, seven seven demon, flying and trample. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature other than Lord of the Pit. If you can't, Lord of the Pit deals seven damage to you. So we're looking for a number of sack outlets here. Revive a demon, four colorless and five black. So just as well, this is a mono black deck. It's a six six demon, it has flying. When it, whenever Reviver, Demon enters the battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, destroy all non artifact, non black creatures. They can't be regenerated. Kuro Pit Lord. So, this is a legendary creature. It's six and three black for a 9 9 demon spirit. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Kuro Pit Lord unless you pay four black. 
Pay one life. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Promise of power. Two colourless, three black. Sorcery. Get to choose one of these abilities here. One of these spells. Um, you can draw five cards and you lose five life. Or you can put an XX black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield where X is the number of cards in your hand as the token enters the battlefield. It also has an entwine cost of four colorless which would allow you to choose both of those if you pay the entwine cost. And then we have a number of demon tokens. Oh, that's a demon. This must be the spirit tokens uh, as well from the angel deck. There's a thrall token. So something in here is generating thralls. So it looks like we only get one, one demon token there. Abyssal Gatekeeper, one and a black for a creature horror, one one. When Abyssal Gatekeeper dies, each player sacrifices a creature. Foul Imp, two black Imp, two two, flying. When Foul Imp enters the battlefield, you lose two life. Dagger Claw Imp, two and a black, three one Imp. Flying Dagger Claw Imp can't block. So a whole load of Imps here. Dusk Imp, two and a black, two one with flying. Two of those. Over Eager Apprentice, two and a black, one two human minion. Discard a card, sacrifice Over Eager Apprentice, add three black to your mana pool. There's a couple of those. Another imp here, Stink Weed Imp. Two and a black, one two flying. Whenever Stink Weed Imp, imp distills combat damage to a play, uh, to a creature, destroy that creature. It's got Dredge on it, so Dredge for five. If you would draw a card, instead you may put exactly five cards from the top of your library into your graveyard. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to your hand, otherwise draw a card. Be interesting to see how much dredge is actually in this deck. Um, another imp, five and two black, this is Soot Imp. It's a one-two flying. Whenever a player casts a non-black spell, that player loses one life. Demon Jester. Three and a black, two two, imp uh, with flying and hellbent. Demon jester gets plus two plus one as long as you have no cards in hand. And there's a couple of those. Soul drinker, three and a black, two two, pay three life. Put a one one counter on soul drinker. Abyssal spectre is in this deck. Two and two black, two three with flying. Whenever abyssal spectre deals damage to a player, that player discards a card. Another imp. Cackling Imp, 2 and 2 black, 2 2 flying. Tap, target player loses one life. Now we've got a black angel, this is Fallen Angel, 3 and 2 black for a 3 3 with flying. Sacrifice a creature, Fallen Angel gets plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn. No surprise that we've got Dark Ritual in here. So we've got Mana Ramp in black, 1 black gets you being able to add three black to your mana pool that's an instant and there's a couple of those duress will allow us to uh, have a look at uh, an opponent's hand uh, it costs one black we get to uh, look at our opponent's hand but also to choose a non-creature non-land card from it and that player discards that card unholy strength for one black we can enchant a creature and give it plus two plus one and there's a couple of those cruel edicts in here one and a black it's a sorcery target opponent sacrifices a creature demonic tutor one and a black sorcery search your library for a card and put that card into your hand and then shuffle your library notice how powerful demonic tutor is because for one and a black we get to basically search for any card okay doesn't matter what it is. Dark Banishing, two and a black, instant destroy target non black creature, it can't be regenerated. Oni Possession, three and a black, enchantment aura, enchant creature at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature, enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three, and has trample. Enchanted creature is a demon spirit. Barter in Blood, two colorless, two black. Sorcery, each player sacrifices two creatures. Breeding Pit, three and a black enchantment. 
At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice breeding pit unless you pay two black. At the beginning of your end step, put a zero one black thrall creature token onto the battlefield. And there's two of those. Corrupt, five and a black. Sorcery, corrupt deals damage equal to the number of swamps you control to target creature or player. You gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. Consume spirit. It's X, one and a black. Sorcery, spend only black mana on X. Consume spirit deals X damage to target creature or player and you gain X life. So those two cards there, great ways of finishing off a player when they're getting low on uh, life. Demon's Horn. Two colourless artifact whenever you play it, whenever a player casts a black spell you gain one life. And now we're moving on to our non-basic lands. Baron Moor, which uh, enters the battlefield tapped, taps for black mana but also has cycling for black on it. There's a couple of those. And then we have all of our swamps here. So it looks like with all of these decks here, you sort of get a couple of non-basic lands. But the vast majority of the the uh, mana here is represented by your basic lands. And again, just checking out that artwork. Ooh, it's sticky. Well, let's see on the back of those. Well, it's not good. Okay, so first sort of problem here, we've got a little bit of, uh, luckily it's just the, the basic lands there, but uh, you can see there we've, uh, there was something on the back of that. I don't know whether the uh, the ink wasn't dry. Okay. So. There we have our uh, Divine versus Demonic Jewel deck with a Chroma Angel of Wrath and Lord of the Pit. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.